This is news. That's messed up. So it's going to like affect a lot of people. Well, you can call it the end of an era. All 99 cents only stores are closing. This surprising news impacting shoppers all across Southern California and elsewhere. The loss of this bargain chain means fewer options for buying affordable items and in some stores, even groceries. NBC4's Anastasia Olmos is live for us in Gardena tonight with reaction from customers. Anastasia. Well, Robert, the 99 cents only store CEO said this was a difficult decision to make, but he said it just didn't economically make sense to keep these stores open, citing things like the COVID-19 pandemic and inflation. And shoppers here today say those very reasons are why they're sad to see the store go. First of all, I'm going to hit the liquidation up, but second of all, what? Shock and sadness from shoppers at the 99 cents only stores after the company announced the closure and liquidation of assets at its 371 stores. That's messed up because after the pandemic, you know, like everything went up. When you come in here, prices is low. It's kind of sad. I think that this is one way of people who, you know, doesn't have the income come here and get little stuff or fast stuff. In a statement, the company's interim CEO cited several challenges in the last several years, including the unprecedented impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, shifting consumer demand, rising levels of shrink, persistent inflationary pressures, and other macroeconomic headwinds. And I think what's happening is that, like everything else in California, they're being pressured with pricing. Customers can see that pressure with items recently not only 99 cents, these plants up to 4.99. And there's some things right now is 110, 120, 130. It's going up. There's no more 99 cents anyways, <laughs> but it's still lower. Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics shows consumers hit the hardest in June 2022 with inflation rates the highest in 40 years at 9.1 percent. While the inflation rate is decreasing, consumer prices continue to rise. The cost of food alone went up almost 13 percent in 2021-2022. It's like you go to the regular stores, $100 is nothing anymore. You come with two pieces of chicken and some tortillas and all that stuff, and it's 100 bucks. Right? We have to do something uh, from a government standpoint to uh, tackle inflation and the supply chain. Now, the company did not mention exactly how many employees would be laid off, but a business profile on Forbes shows that they've had as many as 17,000 employees in recent years. Now, these liquidation sales, they're set to start tomorrow, but there's no date yet on when these stores will close entirely. Reporting live here in Gardena, I'm Anastasia Olmos, NBC4 News.